Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Cheryl Technology Channel. My name is Chris, and I'm your host for this evening. So as you can see, we're at a boot screen on a desktop. So basically what I'm going to do is I am going to boot into Proxmox from the UEFI flash drive right there. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to boot right now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Proxmox. Let's see, graphical, yes. I'm going to install Proxmox on the other flash drive that I have stuck in the front of the computer. This is sounding a little weird, I know. Don't, don't worry, it sounds weird to me too. If you want to create something, there's nothing from stopping you from doing it. There's enough tools these days to help you. So we're going to click I agree. Um, and we're going to click, okay, now target hard disk. We're going to do cruiser glide right here, this 28.65. That's what we're going to do. Then we're going to click next. Country is, let's see, United, there it is, United States. Now, I don't know how bouncy the video is going to be, but time zone, oh, time zone is Denver. That's us. Okay, password. I know you are thinking to yourself, but Chris, what the frick are you doing this for? So the idea behind this, this concept came because I, if you could have a portable flash drive that you could throw on any computer and access virtual machines through a web browser, that's pretty incredible to me because then it frees up hardware. Now, the only caveat is that you have to have a dedicated machine at that moment to run it. So, like, let's say that you wanted to run, you could technically run it on anything. But what we're going to do, see, it's got an IP address, but that's not none of my stuff. So we're going to go next. Oh, crap. Here we go. Let's do a uh, test uh, Proxmox. Let's do that. Because it's not on the network. Oh, my goodness. Dot com. You're on your stupid dot coms and dot orgs and all that business. And then we install. Now, while this is installing, I want you all to really take a look at what I'm actually doing. So basically what I'm doing, I wanted to see if I could install a pro a full functioning, full-fledged instance of Proxmox on a on a computer and then run it from the computer and then access it from somewhere else on a flash drive. That means you need no internal storage. You could technically do this from your phone too. So you could technically have it on the network and then access it through your phone. You could do it on a laptop. You could do it on anything pretty much. I mean, it's probably a useless idea, but I just want to see if I can do it. Now, so that's kind of what I'm thinking, y'all. Make sure you have some coffee too. So as this installs, once this gets installed, I will be right back. Thank y'all for watching, and stay tuned for more. And here we go, everybody. We went into the BIOS, changed the, uh, um, we changed the setting where it would boot from the flash drive that I just put it on. That don't look good. TPM, we don't care about those TPM chips. But basically what's going to happen now is it's going to take the thing that we just did, and it's going to put it on that flash drive, and then our next step, we're going to let that thing run. Boom. Look at that right there. So what we'd have to do is we'd have to get a, a um, network connection. So I'd run an Ethernet over to my switch and blah, 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 so on and so forth. And then pull an IP address. And then we could log into this from anywhere. That is Proxmox on a flash drive. The next step that we're going to do in our next video is we are going to actually run VMs off of this thing. I mean, it really doesn't help mostly. I just thought it was cool, so that's the reason I did it. It really doesn't serve a purpose because most of these, it's better to just run it on a machine because that's basically what you're doing. You're using a machine to run it. The good thing is you can connect to it with your phone, stuff like that. And when you're done with it, you can just go back to using your computer again. See? So let's say you needed to run a VM for a virtual machine for whatever it may be, anything. Run the VM for however long you want. Shut the computer off. Pull the thing out. Start it back up. And run, run Windows or Linux or whatever you're running again. Very easy. Very cool. Like, comment, subscribe. This is Chris. I'm the host of Cheryl Technology Channel. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and know that you are loved. And until the next video, everybody, thank you for watching. Peace.